I'm Batman. Oh my gosh, Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Please wake up. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You put, um, after you season your ribs with some brown sugar and a lot of other goodness, I chose to use Chef Steve's butt rub. And you put it in there, you line the Instapot with it. I cooked it for 25 minutes, the ribs, in the Instapot on high pressure. Okay. Uh, then you let it stand for five minutes, then you put it on broil in the oven. All right, we got our donut breakfast burger. <laughs> you gonna try it? You gonna try it on stream, honey? What's up, peoples? That's my husband, Zero Cool. If you're not checking him out, he's awesome. Oh. A few moments later. Ah, hold it. Perfect candidate. Oh, really? See? Bacon. Let <laughs> <laughs> <Come> me eat me. <laughs> doing i hope everybody is doing fabulous welcome to the stream i'm nikki i am a home cook from texas we are making baked buffalo chicken wontons we are continuing with our wonton theme because we have a ton of them <laughs> and so and recommendations from yesterday's stream we will try to be make if we have time before i have to get back to work um maybe some desserts with them too so i'm very excited to share my day with you or my morning is almost 9 a.m here in texas and so we are going to get started i have my coffee which is well needed <laughs> very very well needed as usual so i hope you enjoy the stream um i gotta wait or, or I have to pull it out of my dishwasher first. Um, I gotta, I gotta bake my chicken. I gotta bake my chicken in my Instapot. So, we're gonna do that. Let me grab the chicken. If you haven't made buffalo chicken um, before, you can do it a couple of different ways, y'all. Um, you can do it with a Frank's hot sauce. Um, I will let chat 
this side. We will also, you can also make it with a, a sweet baby's ray buffalo chicken wing sauce. So I'm gonna pull these out and you guys get to decide. All right, here we go. Here's Frank's. I know Frank's is popular. It is a wonderful wing sauce and so is sweet baby rays. I do need to pull up a poll for you guys. Let me grab my laptop. So I can type all that up. All that. Hold on, we're doing it. Let me undo this. Hold on, we're doing it. I have to type up the poll from here. Oh my goodness! My sweet culpable, if you're not sending love to culpable, he is a friend of mine um, that I have connected with on Twitch. He has a huge heart. He does so many things here on Twitch to help so many streamers, including mine, <laughs> when he can. He is busy, busy. He makes his rounds. He makes his rounds and he's awesome. How are you doing, culpable? Good morning to you. Uh, Good morning. I left so rude. I know. I know. I needed to. Um, I'll wait till a few more people jump on. But, culpable. You know I have like a ton of wonton wrappers um, left over. So, let's see what we got going on here. So, I want to do a poll. I'll set up the poll. Let's see. There we go. For whatever reason, some, sometimes my thing is finicky, y'all. It's finicky. It happens. All right. Forward slash poll. All right. I will put that up for now. All right. So when a few more people um, jump off, jump on, I will set that poll up. That way you guys can decide what we're doing. Um, Coupleville, have you ever had either one of these? So I'm having, uh, so we're taking the rest of those wonton wrappers and we are going to be making a um, baked buffalo chicken wontons. So I'm excited. I was really trying to figure out what I'm gonna do um, with the rest of the wontons, we did discuss desserts yesterday. That is an option we're gonna do as well. We have a ton of them. We may be doing wontons for the rest of the week. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday. Do do so we there can do no a taco theme wonton. So let's do it. What? Keith is here. Oh my goodness, Keith. Good morning to you. How are you? Another lovely person who is so dedicated to my stream as well and i'm so so beyond appreciative i hope you're doing awesome keith cheers to you i'm just nursing my coffee this morning um tomorrow we are going to do my recipe for um we've been sponsored by javi coffee um last week we made a cinnamon coffee cake this um tomorrow morning we are going to do our iced ice cream coffee with a drizzle of magic shell, unicorn magic shell. We're gonna do an awesome coffee drink tomorrow, so I'm excited. Miss Flips is jumping in. She is awesome too. She's a part of the food and drink community, um, as well as music, her hubby um, DJs. Wicka, wicka, wicka. And he just had his anniversary and birthday. And we were able to celebrate that, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, Miss Flips, um, you're working and lurking. I'm so glad. Thank you for being here. Uh, chicken seems to be today's item. The other one making chicken spring rolls. Nice. Nice. I love spring rolls. I've made them on stream, and they are so fun to make. So very fun to make. Butters, ah, Butters, how have you been? We got some awesome streamers popping on. Uh, Butters is a huge, huge supporter um, of charity 
sweet as well. So we just love Butters and her huge heart. She is a streamer. Um, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Hold on. All right. We got to get everybody. All right. So Culpable jumped on first. All right. And then Keith. Let's see. I'm getting everybody. Keith. And we got uh, Butters. We got Mrs. Flips. When I flip, you flip, we flip. Let's do it. When I flip, you flip, we flip. There you go. That's you. That's my lovely human. Yeti on OBS. Did I get everybody? Everybody. I know. I muted it on OBS. Couple, you know I, I, I'll do it every single time. You know I'll do it every single time. When I can. And I appreciate. I just want to let you know I appreciate you. And everybody in chat, thanks for being here. Um, we are going to get this out of the way. All right. There we go. All right, so these were the leftover uh, wontons. We're going to make more of them. But holy cow, yesterday, those miniature wonton salad bites with the ginger wasabi dressing, the spinach, the tomato, the peas, the holy mackerel. Um, I need to put that on my presentedlove.com recipe um, in the re recipe section there because it was so good we literally inhaled all the ones that we um that we put together so good. so good oh my goodness tech and blazer what are you doing holy moly we got Tekken. Tekken, how are you doing all done how are you doing? I hope you are doing amazing with your big heart. Always showing love. It, I feel like it seems forever. You're doing the let's go. I love that animated let's go. That's adorable. I love it. Yes. Tekken is here. Woohoo. Yeah. And we are going to do, um, you guys want to go ahead and decide what type of buffalo sauce we're going to use? Oh, I'm going to have to pull my, my pan out early, my Instapot pan out early. I, I was in such a hurry to do dishes this morning because yesterday I streamed. And so as soon as I got off stream, I had to get my daughter ready for um, bed. So I didn't have time to do dishes. Then we woke up. Can you believe it was hot last week? Now we're getting snow flurries this morning. So when I was getting my daughter ready, I put her like earmuffs on. She was ready to go to keep warm. I So I have a routine when it's cold here in Texas to... Um, go outside, turn the heater on until it's warm. So that's what, especially here in Texas, you never know with the weather. It could be hot one day, could be beautiful the next, it could be snowing, we could get ice. It's just all over the place, but I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Um, I love being here in Texas. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, y'all. Hold on. All right. We are ready. All right, so I got to pull out my my pot, even though it's not ready. I'm just going to rinse off the soapy soap. I'm putting, and then I'm going to let you guys um, decide on our, woo, there we go. I, I'm going to let you guys decide on our sauces. Or, or buffalo chicken. Now, guys, I do have to work today, so I'm not um, streaming all day, but I still get to spend time with you guys. So, um, again, I am going to be working a lot more, so I know you guys were used to my schedule, um, streaming anywhere between four and six hours a day. That's not going to be the case, but I'm still going to stream 
um, typically my m morning um, schedule, but then I'm not going to be streaming all the way to 2.45 p.m. here in Texas, Texas time, Central Standard Time, because I just have, um, I have to balance, I have to balance that way. Um, I get everything done that I need to get done. <gasps> Dixie is here! Oh my goodness! Holy cow! Let's show that love to my sweet Dixie. You're gonna be so excited. Um, so Dixie is a sweetheart. She, um, so I, here she is. There's Miss America. <laughs> Hey, so Dixie, you're going to love one of the shirts, and Dana's Kitchen and I are going to wear them when we do our mental health awareness. So we, um, Dixie is a huge supporter of mental health awareness, um, uh, as much as I am and as much as Dana's Kitchen is and a lot of you others out here. Um, I have a ton of new merch if you want to do explanation Point merch and chat. I got to add some more stuff um, and I'm super stoked about it. Are you ready? So what's cool before I show you the front of it, Dixie, um, you can get different colors. You can get different colors, but look, wait for it. Wait for it. You matter. You matter. Hashtag you matter everybody matters and this is part of our mental health awareness so I designed um, a ton of shirts um, the one I did not design was that logo in our sweet Dixie um, she reached out to me a while while ago because she does um, emotes and she goes hey do you want me to do any emotes for me and um, we're a big supporter of You Matter, and she sent that over. And so I put that on one of the one of the shirts um, that we did. Oh yeah, and so Dixie, what's cool is you can change the color of the sleeves. Um, my other designs, I drew these. I was showing chat yesterday. I drew a, a ton of stuff. I did the love like Jesus shirt. Oh, I guess I can show you on my phone. Um, some of them. Hold on. Let me let me switch it over. Hold on. Um, hold on. These I'm gonna post. Um, I'm wearing them. Uh, hold on. Now they're not all of them. Why is my phone doing this? Urgh. Hold on. All right, I don't need a featured video. My goodness. Hold on, guys. I'm doing it. Oh, Chef Cubbies, you sweet human. Okay, so this is... Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. This is one of them. And this says, I, I don't know if you can really check. See it? It says, I support our truckers, and it's an honor of America and Canada. I got it in red, white, and blue. Um, these are designs that I did. Um, and this one was One Nation Under God. I put the heart in the middle of the cross. And I know you can't really tell, but on the T, I put the word Jesus on there. And... Um, yeah, I don't know if you can really tell, but this one is a, um, this was inspired by a Bible verse that I'm doing in, I lead a Bible study on Wednesday. It says, I'm chosen, and there's a verse in Ephesians that talks about your, your chosen, and this is the You Matter shirt that I was just showing y'all, and then my little, like, Jesus, and I took the J where it says, Jesus at the top of the J. And then this one, it says just breathe. But sometimes we need to do that. And it has um, my website on there, presentedlove.com. I know it's really, really hard to tell. I do have some other ones that's Pray for Ukraine and some other ones if you want to go check them out. It's Explanation Point March. And I also have... Um, uh, 
Amazon, I got approved by Amazon. They're kind of strict on what they're approving or not. Um, but I have a few shirts on there as well. So I'm so excited to launch the, um, the Paralon that we're doing as well. And it was inspired by um, just promoting mental health awareness and just exuding love with all the negativity that goes on in this world. I just wanted something to present um, what we're about, and that's and that's love. Hence, presentedlove.com. So, uh, you you oh you like it a lot. And Chef Cubby says, "Wow, nice." Um, Dixie says, "I love your designs. I'm not a Christian personally, but your designs are so cute. Thank you so much. I appreciate that." Yeah, um, I know not everybody has the same faith, but I just felt led to do um, some of them faith-based. Uh, I'm doing a lot of patriotism um, on on that. We will be doing some funny shirts as well, some funny memes, because you know when Zero and <laughs> Zero is like, you got to do meme shirts because some of the things that we say that pop out of our mouth are so random on my channel and we just have a ball here and just laugh all the time so we are going to do um we're going to do some funny shirts too and again that's to exude love and sense of humor and just if you're having a bad day i was thinking if you're looking at somebody's shirt it's like hey that's funny that brightened my day so uh, where is the zero for president shirt? We should totally do that. We should totally do that. And it should be the the his his emote face. Okay, so explanation point B day in chat, and then that's one of his emotes, and they're so freaking hilarious. Look, should that be the one? And it says zero for president. <laughs> Should it be that one? Um, Dexy says, I think it's important to share yourself for who you are, including your faith. I don't have to follow it to think it's great that you share it. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I so appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm really excited about it. And also some stuff that Tiffy and his wife and, and Zero and I are putting together for you guys. Something else I'm passionate about, but I'm not. I'll launch that when we're ready. I am hoping that is soon. Soon, soon, soon. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna message Tiffy when I can today. And his wifey, and his wifey. And that will go on our store on on our website too. So there we go. Let's try this off. Our chicken. I'm gonna pressurize our chicken. If you're just now popping in, we are taking um, uh, more of our wonton wrappers, and we're going to make miniature buffalo chicken wonton bites. That's what we're gonna do. So we're basically taking a buffalo chicken recipe and putting it inside, inside the, the miniature wontons. Doesn't that sound good? If you haven't had um, buffalo chicken, it's really good. So I'm gonna let y'all decide. Thanks, Chef Covey. I'm gonna let y'all decide between which one. I'm going to let you decide between Frank's Red Hot Sauce and uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. So, I'm going to throw a poll up now, and then you let me know. Uh, the Ice Vampire! Hi, hi, my adopted family. Oh, I love it. You're playing a new simulator. Awesome. Which um, which simulator game are you playing? I know Zero loves playing those. And our friend Goofball, um, who comes in and chat at times, he, uh, he plays a trucking simulator game. I tried playing the cooking simulator game, but it was so hard. So very hard. And I had the toughest, toughest time with it. 
And go show love to my the ice vampire. Super sweet human. Thank you for being here. Granny! Good morning. How are you? I'm glad you popped in. We're going to do a poll. Have you ever had Frank's hot sauce or sweet baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce? So I am going to do this poll. Hold on. And guys, I'm trying to decide which day this week I am doing my makers and craft stream. Hold on, poll. Come on now. Um, my poll. Uh, Granny, thank you for that lurk, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, Gran Turizo 7, 25th anniversary edition. Oh, how cool. Granny, thank you for stopping by in that lurk. I know a lot of y'all are lurking and working or lurking and doing what you do. All right, question. Which, which, I guess I should call it, uh, all right, so you get to pick wing sauce or the buffalo, ah, where is that buffalo chicken, one ton bites. All right, here we go. You're gonna do Frank's, this one's it, Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. All right, Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, or they're both good, so I'm fine with either one that you guys pick, or this sweet, Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. All right, and so I'm going to start the poll. You're going to have about five minutes, and there you go. Five minutes, and you get to choose. Raise the room. Woo -woo -woo. All right, I'm putting this to the side. All right, it's y'all's choice, you pick. Oh, you vote both, but you can only do one. You gotta pick one. I would do both too. Well, if it's 50%, 50% on the voting, I will add a little bit of both. So I always typically, if it's a 50-50 split, I know some streamers, if it's a 50-50 split, they revote, but um, I typically, if it's 50-50, I go ahead and do both, and so that's what I'll do. What do you think, Lulu? Let's see uh, what Lulu thinks. Oops. Lulu, what do you think? What you thinking? I gotta grill my chicken. Hold on. I, uh, while you're watching Lulu, I'm gonna grab my chicken. Can you stay in one spot while mama goes and gets the chicken? Woo, it's cold in the garage. We got flurries here in Texas. It is cold. Woo. Everybody entertain. You are <laughs> Lulu, my sweet Lulu. All right, so I'm curious to see what you guys have voted for so far. Let's see. All right, it says a hundred percent sweet baby Ray so far. Heck yeah, that is a good one. That is a good one, y'all. So while that's going, I need to add, oh, do I have my shredded in there? Oh my goodness. Do I have it in here? And I do. 
recipes I do. If you're new to my channel, I try to make easy recipes that you guys can make at home. And so this is just another example. All I'm doing, just uh, take some shredded chicken, whether you pressurize it in your Instapot or cook it in the oven or bake it, um, whatever you do. So on this one, just cook your chicken, shred it, and I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Um, doing and I showed chat yesterday how easy the wonton cups are to make so hey Gail you're doing your hand surgery oh my goodness I pray that it goes well um please let me know how it goes you're wondering if I got your message for the lasagna I did not I did not where did you, did you message it on my Discord or um, on my Twitch? Let me know. Let me, let me know. All right, let me get my measuring cup real quick. Hold on. Oh my goodness. So Dixie, when you come to Texas, please bring some warm weather. <laughs> uh, pretty please? Party party please? Oh, what was it? Hold on, I didn't see the vote. The votey vote. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Um, who won? Wheat baby raise a hundred percent. What? Let's go. That's fine with me. Let's bring out the, the sweet baby race. Where is it? There we go. Do, do, do. Sweet baby race. So, the, so I've done the sweet baby race for when I did buffalo chicken lettuce wraps a long time ago. And it was so, so delicious. On the website, oh, on my presentedlove.com website. I can definitely check that for sure. I'll do that when I'm getting ready for work after stream. That'll be one of my goals. Uh, culpable, oh, a third option. <laughs> Throw it in the mix. What was the third option? What was it? Oh, and guys, this is such a, a easy recipe because all you guys gotta do is do the you got to do some cream cheese, some regular cheese. You do your wing sauce. You can do add some chives in there. You can also add some ranch dressing in there. Um, and uh, when you're mixing it up, you can do a little bit of milk. You still need to have it um, thick. So just be aware of that, what all you're going to add. You can add some sour cream. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have a specific recipe that you follow for um, buffalo chicken, but if you do, feel free to post it on my Discord or feel free to post that um, uh, in chat. You most certainly can. Let me see if I have my cooking scissors. Or I call, I don't know why I always call them cooking scissors. They are kitchen scissors. And I bet you they're in here. Oh, I'm having to keep opening this. I seriously did not have time, though. So. All right. Once again, these will eventually get washed. It says 29 more minutes. But if I keep opening it up, it'll be a lot longer than that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Rinse these off. Yeah, I love these. So my sister-in-law got me these for Christmas because my other ones I used so much, they were kind of rusting up. And uh, 
This was one of my kitchen items that I got for Christmas and I absolutely love them. They're awesome. Just makes life easier. All right. Here we go. So we're just going to throw these in the Instapot and just pressurize them. And we're going to pressurize these probably around between 23 and 28 minutes. I did not. It was salted caramel. Why? And I added hazelnut creamer. Why did you not like it? Yeah. I promise. I know you don't like the Napoleon one. Speaking of coffee, I'm going to be doing the Javi coffee recipe tomorrow. We're going to use ice cream. I am going to do a poll where you guys get to pick the ice cream that goes in our iced coffee. And we're going to use that magic shell, which I'm excited about. Okay. And guys, I was thinking about, and I don't know what your thoughts are, and it would only be one day a week. I was thinking only one day a week to stream on YouTube. I've never streamed on YouTube before, but I was thinking just one day a week. Like, I'm totally not completely switching from Twitch to YouTube, so don't think that. Look at him. How's your back? Is it better? No, did you call your chiropractor yet? Sweet baby rays. It's good for you. Sweet baby rays. So good. It makes me want to smack my mama. <laughs> Don't Get yours today. Check out presentedlove.com. <laughs> you are hilarious. I drink sweet baby rays on a Saturday. It is that good, though, if you haven't had it. All right. Everybody say hi to zero. Oh, it didn't work. Hey, uh, someone clip that. Couple, clip that for me. Pretty oh. please, the sugar on top. Pretty please. Don't click. I'm gonna smack you. Gonna make a video. Someone needs to clip that. I'll just be ready for a slow start there. For works. Uh, wait. Okay, wait. Hold on. Culpable. Let me read that. Oof. Frozen chicken. There we go. Okay. Let me. Hold on. Um. Dixie says hello, Mr. President. Did you hear? That your one of the shirts is zero for president on our funny meme ones. Okay, so culpable says just be ready for a slow start there. YouTube works the way way slower than Twitch. Their platform lead on a whip. So I'm just doing it um, just to check it out and to be able to. I've been trying desperately to post my whole. Um, like my whole episodes on YouTube and I haven't been able to I don't know if it's because it's so large I I yeah, wanted probably. to um, do it the twitch over to that um, but so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing so I may not but I really want to I want to try to do it um, just to see I'm not doing it for the the numbers culpable I'm just doing it just to see um, if that way it's saved on there because I haven't been able to do that unless you guys know an easier way because it will upload clips to YouTube it just won't do my full episodes and so that's frustrating like I would never full time switch to YouTube ever because I love the Twitch community I love how we interact I love the love on here for sure um, I would never want to have it any other way. 
I just want to check it out. But Culpable, thank you for telling me that. I so, so appreciate it. Um, I do not see a Discord. You dis you dislike Discord. So yeah, I'm not the best. Um, I'm not the best with Discord. I try. I know a lot of streamers that are absolutely amazing with their their Discord. I'm just I I'm definitely not the best at it. I wish I was better at it. But honestly, I don't have the time to consistently um nonstop update on um on Discord. <laughs> But my amazing community does. Y'all with your positive energy, your uh, posts, your love for one another, and all that. I just love it. So when I can check it, I love it. Hey, Cubs for Love is here. Please go show my sweet Cubs some love. He is an amazing, amazing human, amazing supporter of this community. Hey, and mods. Um, I am going to do a mod appreciation stream. I got to figure out what day I'm going to do that um, because I wanted to show y'all my deepest, deepest yeah, appreciation um, for you guys. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, and so, yeah, thank you for doing that of our sweet cubs. Thank you. Are you yelling at me? Oh, I didn't know if Zero was yelling at me or talking to somebody. From work, he has such a loud voice that it's hard to tell. Uh, so culpable, it's a little funny. I must say, YouTube would be able to create so much better uh, interface for the streamers if they just worked a day or two on it. Yes, culpable. I will say, Twitch by far has the best uh, interface where you can interact. Um, that's one thing I've seen on YouTube when people stream. I'm like, you can't even see chat. And it's like, it's not like it is here where you're so just tight knit. Because I've noticed when I've watched um, the the YouTube YouTube stuff, it, it's not like we are here on Twitch. And even if I got um, more views on YouTube, I wouldn't switch because I just love my Twitch community. Um, so... Uh, culpable, we should be happy they do so dumb, I guess. You're so hilarious. Um, the same, really, so that's that's not the problem. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I got my coffee. Cubs, I'm finally going to do tomorrow um, my recipe for our second recipe for Javi coffee. And these, this is what... Um, Kev, since you're just now joining in, I let um, chat decide. So, Culpable, we're going to do the wonton cups again, but I'm going to do a buffalo chicken wonton bites. And so, I let them pick between Frank's hot sauce and sweet baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. And it was 100% sweet baby Ray's. Why is my dishwasher making funkiness? Probably because I kept opening it and closing it. <laughs> Uh, you're going to lurk with John. You got to run to the store for my meds. Oh, I completely understand. You say, I love you if I don't make it out before your stream ends. I hope you have a great day. Oh, thank you, Dixie. I am, um, I don't know if you heard earlier in stream, but I have to work today. So I'm not streaming my normal four to six hours. My schedule has completely, well, not completely changed. I'll still be able to stream a lot, but just not as long. So my schedule's all over the place, but it's still a blessing that I can still be here with you and still be able to focus on my work, um, which is so awesome. And I love that. I love that that I can still be with my Twitch fam, which always brightens my day. Brightens my day. I'm plugging in my Instapot so we can spread up this chicken. Chicken. All right. Let's pressurize it. I'll probably do it for like 28 maybe minutes. What? No, 26. I'm feeling like we need to do 26. All right. And it's already set at 26. So it's meant to be. It's meant to be, y'all. So um, I may try to do a dessert as well. 
And so, yeah, let's see. You had that problem <laughs> always. Always. All right. Oh, this is Zero's cup. All right, I'm, I'm gonna add some more, some more coffee. Right, Lulu? All right, I am raring to go. So, Culpable, thank you for um, jumping on so early this morning. I'm curious, explanation point uptime in chat. I'm curious how long I've streamed so far. So, Cubs with the coffee cup. I should probably do a coffee, a coffee emote too. <laughs> the stream has been going for 45 minutes and 48 seconds. That's pretty accurate. If you're new to my channel, I typically talk for up to an hour or two before I get started on my food. But let's see. So super easy. I just popped in my um, chicken. Let's get our ingredients for our, our, our dip, our buffalo chicken um, sauce. Right, Lulu? All right, so here we go. So you're gonna need some sour cream, which I got. We got sour cream. Let's get um, some cream cheese. Do some cream cheese. I may need another block. Um, we just need see here. You can use uh, you know, let's see. Am I out of shredded cheese again? I've been having issues finding shredded cheese. I do not know why. All right. So you do need some cream. Well, you don't have to add a shredded cheese. I may not do that. As long as you have the cream cheese mixture in there, that's what I'll do. I'll just add a block and a half cream cheese with a little bit of sour cream. Or actually, here's a full block. I have a half, a half in here. Oh, we are good to go. Heck yeah. All right. So we got that and that. So we're going to use the rest of that. We're going to add some, some cream cheese. So what you're going to need, cream cheese, sour cream, and you're going to need, you can use some chives. I am going to also add a little bit of cilantro for garnish because I don't want this to go to waste. This is really good cilantro. I've used it for a bunch of stuff. Um, goofball! Hey, we were talking. We were talking about you earlier because um, Ice Vampire is playing a simulator game, and so I mentioned um, I mentioned you doing your trucking simulator. Oh, and we gotta play your song, Alexa. Play the cop theme song. How are you doing, do you busy day? Play? On a wonton? I uh, know. Well, I didn't want our wontons to go to waste. Thank you for reminding me to pull those out. So, yeah, we're doing, song, yeah, you know, I'm really excited to, to make these. And if I have time, depending on what time I need to jump off stream for work, I, um, if I have time, I'll try to do a dessert um, with the rest of them. If not, we can do that tomorrow. Um, along with making our ice, iced, ice cream, uh, jelly coffee. Oh, and these are what you guys get to pick from tomorrow. So definitely come back. I'm going to let y'all pick between these ice creams. Why didn't Alexa do that? Alexa, play the cops theme song. It didn't do it. Bad Goofball. Boys by Inner Circle. There we are. And There's Bad the Boys. Goofball is a bad, bad boy. No, it's funny because Goofball lives in the area. And it was how I did a Halloween trunk or tree that they had at one of the churches um, in the area. And there was a cop that looked just like him. And I was like, is 
Just by the car? I probably worked in an IT, like technical, did technical stuff, which he does, but I was like, I thought he was lying. I thought he was a cop. I'm like, he got a cop Twinkie. So that's why I always play, that's why I've been playing the cop, the bad boy cop song. So these are the ice creams you guys are going to be able to choose from. I don't know why my little thing doesn't work. Ah! Alexa, stop. My thing is not working where you can pause the song. I don't know. That thing is finicky. All right, so these are the ones you will get to pick out uh, tomorrow for tomorrow's stream. Uh, a cookie dough. And these are all non-dairy. Um, I've never done the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy ice cream before, but these, I know the So Delish brands are on fire. I eat them all the time. And if you can't have regular ice cream, this is a great substitute and it's phenomenal. So you get to pick between cookies, cookies and cream, So Delish. You get to pick um, chocolate cookies and cream. You get to pick on the salted caramel cluster or the peanut butter and cookies Ben and Jerry. So those are the ones you get to decide on tomorrow with the coffee. And what we're going to use is our um, magic shell on top. Look at this. This is fire. Like, this is sinfully good. I can't even put it into words. It's a magic shell unicorn um, flavor. Uh, it reminds me kind of like a um, a white chocolate birthday cake type sweetness. Is amazing. I recommend it times a thousand if you have a sweet tooth like I do. Um. So we'll see. All right, so we got that going. Cream cheese, sour cream, buffalo wing sauce. We got our wonton wrappers, our cilantro. Um, you will need, you can add a little bit of ranch seasoning. Ranch seasoning, I don't know what it is when you mingle the two of ranch seasoning and cream cheese, it's just fire. Fire, it is so good. All right, so we're pressurizing the chicken. Um, uh oh, let me make sure I have it going the right way. I've been doing really bad on that lately. So, I'm gonna have to get a new Instapot. It has been so finicky. So finicky. And I don't know, um, I did replace the, the little valve thing from when um, I dropped the lid and busted it. But I was having a few issues before then. So, um, but I've had it for so long, and I use it almost every single day. And for it to last this long for me using it that often is awesome. So, anybody else love their Instapot as much as I do? My, If you're new to my channel, my favorite things are my uh, Bella Pro Series um, air fryer all-in-one. It does rotisserie um, pizza. Uh, it has a bacon button, a dehydrator, a broil, it bakes, it does everything. It does everything but make coffee. So, it's pretty awesome. So, I just need to chop up a little bit of these. Now, I didn't um, have any green onions, so typically in a buffalo chicken, it tastes so good with fresh chives, but when you don't have them, and this is exactly why I love, love these things. Um, I'm using, I'm using my freeze dried chives to sprinkle in there. So yeah, I'll be impressed with appliance when somebody finally invents a device that folds and puts away laundry. Holy cow, that would be amazing. I would love that. So that is my least favorite thing to do is laundry. I'd rather clean a toilet. Is anybody 
else like that. I don't know what my deal is with laundry. I dislike it. Some people find it therapeutic. I find it extremely stressful where I would need therapy. <laughs> I dislike it so much. Um, Miss Flips says, oh, goofball, what a dream that would be. Goofball says, LOL, everyone in my house is that way, including me. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I seriously would clean a toilet over doing laundry. For real. I would. I find the dishes therapeutic, not laundry. Yeah, I could see that. Now, sometimes to me, uh, so for me, if I could pick one thing that feels therapeutic to do in the house, and I don't know why, vacuuming. I love vacuuming. That's the only household chore that I'm like, I love vacuuming. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Anybody else like vacuuming? That I find therapeutic. Not much of anything else. The only thing I find therapeutic is sitting down after I'm done cleaning. <laughs> and then within seconds, if you have a tornado of a child, it won't last very long. Because by the time you sit down, it's already a mess again. That's what happens when you have children. You know what I was thinking about doing? I don't know if it would be too much crispiness, but what do y'all think about this? Because y'all know we like the little crispy, crispy, fresh gourmet little thingies. So I think this would be good, but I don't know if it would be too much crispiness with the wonton itself. But sprinkling a little bit of these crispy onions on top of the buffalo chicken. I don't know. That sounded randomly good. And if you missed. My stream yesterday, uh, I gotta show you, where did they go? Ah! Where did they go? Oh my goodness, where did they go? Okay, anyways, they are very similar to these, but they are dill pickle flavor. How are they? They're called dillies. They're cute, they're called dillies. And they taste like dill pickles. Y'all know that I love dill pickle anything, and it's so good. So good. Uh, Goofall says there is a power wash simulator that you'd probably enjoy. A game that's a power wash simulator? I will have to check. Is it hard like the cooking simulator? Cuff says my... Stress relief is washing dishes. Oh, all right. Well, come over. Feel free. <laughs> Anytime you would like. <laughs> I do all the dishes. I think in our entire relationship, Zero has probably washed the dishes maybe twice. And the two other times is because he was trying to impress his sister. By doing the dishes. I was like, really? You can wash them for her, but not for me, you little stinker. <laughs> you little stinker. Uh, hey, Kyle. Welcome in. I am hydrating. My girl, Kyle, always um, keeps me hydrated. The goes, they oh. had one of the best <laughs> streams that uh, Maya and I had the pleasure of watching. It was so friggin' hilarious. If you missed it, I am saving these videos forever. So I, I literally had to, so Kyle, when she was laughing, I actually had to, cause we were watching from our, our phone before she was going to bed and she just wouldn't stop laughing cause we were watching you before bed. And I was like, I have to record for watching this, so I went and grabbed my laptop so so you could see. Let me find it. It was so funny. Yeah, I was telling Kyle that her and her man, that was one of one of one of the best streams I've seen them do, and I was just we were all in stitches. Where is it? Oh, okay, here it is. It's just too, let me turn it up so y'all could hear her laugh. It's just absolutely hilarious. I have several. Wait, what? Oh. This is the one I 
showed yesterday? But, wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Now there's... she is uh did you uh kyle did you let funky watch that the lucifer welcome to the fam please welcome in our follower thank you for being here so kyle i hope you showed your man that because that was that was just priceless I couldn't get, so Kyle, you are going to love, so Kyle is obsessed with buffalo chicken anything. She probably has 38 recipes, 38 different ways to make buffalo chicken. And so that's what we're doing. So we have um, so many leftover wontons. These wonton wrappers were actually inspired by Cubs for Life, and so I've been trying to think of creative recipes to do with them. The original one we did was the uh, bacon cheeseburger wontons dipped in a creamy cheese sauce. And then we did, um, what did we do yesterday? We did an Asian salad bites. Um, in a wasabi uh, ginger dressing that was absolutely amazing. We ate all of them. It was awesome. We used all the salad we could, but we still have some leftover um, wontons and wonton wrappers. I was telling Chet earlier, there were suggestions for me to also do a dessert with wonton wrappers. We'll have to do that tomorrow since I'm working a lot today. And so that's what we're doing. He did. Jax was just as excited as Funky. Oh, you're hilarious. Yes. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I like how you say hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, Kyle, my Instapot's being kind of funky. I may have to get a new one. I've seriously used it every single day almost for two years and i was telling chat i'm surprised it's lasted this long oh Cubs, thanks for throwing up that menu for our new viewers thanks for being here and so i gotta cut this up our fresh produce buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwiches what that sounds absolutely amazing holy cow and what kind of cheese would you recommend i have um if i have a lot of buffalo chicken leftovers we'll do that i have some pepper jack cheese but that would definitely be some spiciness on a grilled cheese but it would be good i love grilled cheese i love grilled cheese with soup especially tomato soup Heck yeah, that is goodness. Thank you for throwing up my merch, my new merch in my socials for my newbies. Also, if you want to go to presentedlove.com, I have uh, more recipes on there and a lot more love from our loving community. And if you want to sign up to be a member, you can. That way it gives you permission to chat amongst um the other people on there, and we spread a lot of positivity. Um, that was truly inspired by you guys because this is not just a food and drink channel. We exude a lot of love, 
and a lot of positivity. And I wanted to truly, truly um, spread that through our new, our new website that we had launched in January. And that I've been very, very excited about. Yes, homemade tomato soup. I did that one time on stream. It was so good. It was so good. Let me grab my knife real quick, y'all. Hold on. All right. We're going to chop, chop, chop. Choppy, choppy. All right. So this is really easy to make at home. We're going to mix in a lot of goodness. Thank you for that follow, whoever that was. Let's see, full strength, heck yeah, full strength, welcome in. Please welcome our new, our new uh, follower. Thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki. I am a home cook from Texas, and I love making easy homemade recipes that you can make at home that are super easy um, Hello. and delicious <laughs> and delicious so, oh my goodness I really wanted to make ramen or some pho yesterday uh, with those Asian um, those Asian lettuce cups but I didn't have all the um, all the ingredients or that's what would have been on the menu but that kung pao temper cauliflower dish that was with it was so good so i'm glad i ended up making that but i will be making a pho and ramen soon because so kyle is like me she loves good and gather so kyle look what i found um uh, Ramen, where is it? Okay, so I'm all about trying random stuff. Look what I found. This is Good and Gather. This is um, Boca broth. I wanted to try it. This is an actual ramen broth um, made by Good and Gather. Good and Gather is an amazing um, uh, brand. Uh, you can get it at Super Target and it's super inexpensive. And they had a faux one. When I saw that, I was like, heck yeah, I want to try it. Um, typically, I make the homemade broth and the seasoning and stuff like that. But I was since I try to do simple uh, recipes you can make at home when I saw this, I was like, heck yeah, let's, let's just try it out. And I'll give you my honest opinion to see if this is a good, um, if this broth is really, really good. And so that is my plan to do that within the month. With, I should say within the next month, because in a couple weeks, um, I can't stream at the end of the month. Um, my grandmother's health is not doing well, so I will be flying out to Arizona, and my friend was just diagnosed with cancer, and they're doing a benefit um, fundraiser out there. She lives in Arizona as well, so I'll be able to spend time with her and uh, spend time with my family out in Arizona, so I'll be gone for about four days, and so, um, so yeah, I haven't flown an airplane since before the pandemic in 2019, and so I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared about doing it. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm going to double mask it on the flight. <laughs> So, luckily, it's only like a two and a half hour flight. So, I'm extremely ADD, so I do not like sitting down for any length of time unless I'm trying to relax. And riding in an airplane is not relaxing to me. It's actually stressful. And, yeah, I definitely do not like... An airplane because I get really antsy is anybody else like that I get super antsy in an airplane all right so we're gonna cut up some more
Yeah, like I can't imagine, even though I would love to go overseas one day um, um, and, and visit other countries, I just can't imagine being on a flight for that long. That would just, just drive me crazy. I would have to take a Benadryl or something. <laughs> like, oh my word. That is stressful. Stressful, stressful. Hub says, I don't fly. I only flew once in a lifetime. Yes, I had. Yeah, I've flown quite a bit for sure. And especially when I was in, like, had to do software training many moons ago when I was working for a company. I flew, and when I did medical sales, I had to fly to Florida, had to fly out to California. But that was obviously pre pandemic and stuff like that. Um, ta da! Ta da! <laughs> ta da! How are you doing? I hope you brought your appetite. I hope you brought your appetite, dear. I'm just trying to get the rest rest of this um, before it goes bad. And I love this ingredient that I love putting in stuff. So that's what we're doing. Good morning to you, Tadas. I hope you're doing amazing. I am making more recipe stuff with our wonton wrappers. So... Ooh, this smells so good. I love how how good fresh ingredients smell. Whoop. My uh, dishwasher is making noises. It's talking back to me. It's so funny because sometimes steam will pop up. <laughs> There's actually a clip of zero where steam from the dishwasher like it literally he was standing up standing right here and it was a burst of steam and he's like "Ooh, special effects look at this and we actually that's in one of our videos too what kind of smoke you talking oh the special effects when you were like did you make an appointment with your no, chiropractor yet? yet make time sir so you're not in pain please He's been in a lot of pain. He was in so much pain that he couldn't even go to church yesterday. He couldn't even feel his right side. Was it your right side of your leg you couldn't feel? Yeah. Or, yeah. And so he definitely needs to go to the chiropractor. So make time or I'll call the person. Sir. Sir. All right. There we go. Oh, I need to set. Whoop, whoop. Let me throw this away. I do need to put the temperature on at 350 for the oven because we are going to need to make some more wonton cups. Let me see how many I have left over from yesterday. Hold on. Uh, how's the vet? He's at least moving around better. He moved around better last night, but in the morning. But then it started hurting him real bad towards the end of my stream. And he's like, hey, I need to lay down in bed. And so he was watching my stream from the laptop in bed. So, um, cause I'm using the leftovers cups from last night. And we're going to need to make some more. I'm pretty sure we're going to eat more buffalo chicken bites than this and that was so fun to make yesterday all right i'm thinking let me count them i have let's see two four six eight ten yeah we'll definitely We'll definitely need to make some more, I have a feeling. So, 
Let's do that. What do you think, Lulu? What do you think? Uh-oh, here comes Oreo. Hopefully Oreo will get in the middle of the camera. Oreo, come here. Come here. People want to see you. Come here. You haven't seen my sweet kitty? This is Oreo. Say hi. Say hi. This is Oreo. He is a wonderful cat. We adopted him nine years ago. Right? Nine years ago. He's a sweet, sweet cat. Yeah. Like I said, we got a small farm in our house. We got two dogs, one cat, and two guinea pigs, and a fish. Oh my gosh, does anybody know of an easier way to <sighs> guinea pigs? Oh my gosh, they, so they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be like the cleaner of like, of more so than hamsters or gerbils or whatnot. But I swear those little things crap all day long, nonstop. Oh my god. They need like Imodium AD or something. <laughs> I'm like quite crapping because it's a constant. Constant. Does anybody have an easier way to clean up a guinea pig cage? So what I did buy is I bought something called Guinea Dad and it's basically a a blanket thing so you don't have to constantly buy the bedding and I just started using it so we'll see um, how it goes and if it works I'll let you guys know but it is those animals those animals all our animals are that way hence the name of our other adopted dog Poopsie <laughs> um, Jedi all rodents do that. They poop <laughs> on the run. Oh no, Jedi. How are you doing, Jedi? They, um, Jedi is another sweetheart in stream. How are you doing this morning? So, yeah, I'm just like all our animals are that way. Oh, there's Oreo. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Oreo's just. Oh, Oreo's grooming. All right. You want to see a cat groom? There you go. Oreo's grooming. All right, let me set the oven at 350. Hold on. Bake 350. All right, there we go. And again, if you're going to do this at home, get the mini. All right, I'm sure not everybody wants to see that, so. <laughs> Make sure if you're going to do the wonton cups at home, make sure to do them in the miniature size pans like that. All right, so what we are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and bake them all. That way, when we make our desserts, when we make our desserts, um, we'll already have those cooked up. So we did decide yesterday, we did decide yesterday, y'all, that it's better to do the, so there were conflicting things on the, on the interwebs of either with the wonton wrappers to either put spray or not. So we did half and half and avocado oil spray it is. So that's what we're doing. So you don't have to use an avocado oil spray. You can use any type of spray you would like, but I personally always prefer avocado um, oil spray unless it, unless it requires differently. Like some recipes, you need a canola oil or vegetable oil. Your coffee's right here, huh? Right. There you go. There you go. I hearts! I hearts, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing, dear. It is so good to see you. 
You making things happen this morning? Look, I'm gonna do a buff I heart. I hope you're having an amazing morning. We are doing our uh, I have a ton of wonton wrappers. So yes, we the last two times we've done wonton wrappers, we did a bacon cheeseburger uh, wonton with a cheese dipping sauce uh, yesterday, along with our kung pao uh, tempura cauliflower dish. We made want miniature Asian um, wonton salads. It want so it was basically this with salad inside, but it was Asian style with a wasabi ginger dressing. If you hear that beeping, that's my. That is my Instapot, so give me a second. Um, we're also going to do a dessert with these. I don't, I'm not gonna have time to do the dessert today, but I'll do, I'll do that tomorrow because I have a ton of work to do today. And so I will go ahead and put all these in here. So I won't have to worry about baking them all tomorrow. But yeah, guys, this is real easy. We had uh, a really uh, sweet person raid our channel yesterday, Itsy Fitsy, and one of her um, viewers was just like, oh, I, I can't make something that pretty. And it's like, what I love to do here on the on my food and drink channel. I absolutely love trying to do easy recipes um, if you're new to my channel. And you can make them look good. And I was trying to show them how easy it is to do these, these wonton cups and you can still make it look pretty and taste yummy. And you can do it in a simplified way. So even if you're not a professional cook, you can do this y'all. I promise you, I promise you. So just all you have to do guys is go to the produce section and I luckily found one. So sometimes they come in sheets, but these ones are already, already sliced for you. So I don't have to do that. So, but it's easy if you have the long strips of wontons as well, cause you basically just have to cut them to your desired size. Um, this was perfect um, for for this specific um, recipes that I have going on. Hold on one second, my Instapot. Hold on. This is good timing. If you hear a bunch of air, my chicken is done being pressurized in my Instapot. So yeah, yesterday's little pie salad cups. So good, and I, all that was in there is we chopped up some fresh spinach, we added some peas, some diced cucumbers, we sliced up some tomatoes. Um, what else did we do, guys? I can't remember, but um, it was just really awesome. And then we just mixed it up with a wasabi ginger sauce. And it was great. It was really great. Oh, awesome! Cobbs, look at that. I'll be able to cook all of them today. And that'll be it for our wontons. <laughs> I don't know if I dare say this, but smell chicken to that. What? I dare to call them rodents. Oh, you'd eat them? Gross! You're gonna, you're gonna eat them? culpable you're gonna eat eat you better not i actually so oreo our cat that you just saw would um would totally eat my daughter's guinea pigs so we uh the guinea pigs are in her room and so we keep her door shut because oreo would totally totally eat her guinea pigs as a as a snack because <laughs> sometimes he'll even 
uh, stand outside her doorway, hoping that we'll forget to shut that door. <laughs> oh, let me move the camera over so you can see Lulu. No, read it again. Okay, I don't know if I dare say this, but small children do that as well. Oh! <laughs> well, they're not leaving it all over the place, thankfully. Hopefully they're aiming for the, the toilet. All right, how easy peasy. We used them all, yay. We're all done with those wonton wrappers. All right, let me undo my Instapot. It just got done uh, being pressurized. Let me turn it off real quick, guys. There we go. And all we need to do is pop these in and we are about 16 minutes, I would say. 16 minutes, put these in there. And it's really good timing because what we're going to do is we're going to shred that chicken. So let me, let me pull that out, y'all. Hold on. Let's see. Woo-wee. All right. Oh, I don't want to burn myself. Okay, here is the pot. We're gonna pull that out and we're gonna shred our chicken. And that's all we need to do. And we're gonna do our sauce, our buffalo chicken sauce. I think it's, I'm glad I did a poll this morning because I was, I was deciding whether or not if I wanna do frank swing sauce or our um, sweet baby rays. And it was unanimous that it was Sweet Baby Ray's. I was, uh, thank y'all for doing that. It was awesome. All right, so now we're gonna take our chicken like so, and we're gonna shred it. There we go. Oh, you had a pet, I had a pet rabbit when I was real, real little. Those are some messy animals too. She wanted a bunny, but um, finally, we talked her, talked her into, um, she wanted, ended up wanting a guinea pig, thankfully, because they are definitely, um, rabbits definitely smell worse, I would say. Don't y'all agree? And I, I feel like they're harder to take care of, too. So all we're going to do is shred this up, and then we'll get onto our sauce. And then... Oh, Alexa, set timer for 14 minutes. Almost 14 forgot. 14 minutes, starting now. I would have burned those other wontons. <laughs> all right, here we go. And then with the sauce, all we're gonna do is add some cream cheese, a little bit of sour cream, our sweet baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce that you guys voted it on and we're gonna put some chai some cilantro uh what else are we gonna add and i'm i may or may not add the crispy onions on top i have not decided we'll see we'll see oh this is what's up sexy people welcome in how are you doing heck yeah what are you doing? Thank you for being here. I hope you've done amazing. Oh my goodness, so good to see you. Hubble says I'm sexy and <laughs> uh, Culpable, you're so hilarious. Culpable has a great sense of humor if you don't know him. All right, I'm getting this going. So, Kyle, I know you make buffalo chicken stuff all the time. Have you ever made it this way at all in little wonton cups? I loved making it as a lettuce wrap one time. That was a long time ago that I made buffalo chicken lettuce wraps, and that was so good. That was forever ago, though. I'm tr I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with my anniversary stream. 
Uh, haven't decided yet. I may do a churro redemption because I have this recipe for a pineapple churro dessert and I've been wanting to make it for a while, but one of my beginning streams here on Twitch on food and drink, I did a absolutely ter terrible job making churros for the first time. They ended up looking like uh, Olive Garden breadsticks. <laughs> it was terrible. I was like, oh Lord. Oh my gosh, Southern Texas toast. What? I am so glad I got to catch the tail end of your stream after church. I was literally lurking all the way home. You did such a fabulous job. I am so proud of you. If you didn't know, Southern Texas Toast just recently started doing her food and drink channel here on Twitch. Go show her some love. Super duper sweet human. She did such a, such a great job. Uh... These sound amazing. I can't really listen to the stream today watching while I'm at the doctor's office. Wait, oh my God, I pray everything so, uh, is okay. Hopefully it's just a checkup and you're all right. Um, I can't wait to get them done. Southern Texas Toast, can't wait. Please go follow my new girl who, and she is such a cutie patootie. It was my first time seeing her on stream. It was my first time ever seeing her on stream, and she told me she was streaming from 10 to 12. So as soon as I got done with church, I turned her on in the car, and I was listening to her all the way home. And uh, is that going to be your normal schedule, 10 to 1? Oh, Laura, Laura with the catnip. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> We're doing catnip and trees. Oh, Laura. Spoiling the animals today. All right, so we got treats for Lulu, treats for our kitty cat. Where's the catnip? Where's the catnip? I know we have some. I know we have some. Oh my goodness, where is it? I know we have like a big, huge bottle. And I know he has not gone through it. Where is it? Holy moly. Oh my goodness. I will find it. What's going on? Oh. I will find it, Alara Laura. I will find it. I know we have a big, huge bottle. So I will do that. I will do that. Yes, welcome in Southern Texas Toast. Yeah, show some love to that human. Um, oh, you're so sweet, fam. I think so, Nikki. My online church is at 8.30 to 9.30, and then you get set up. Oh, okay, I totally get it. Yeah, ours, um, I got to leave by 10 a.m. to get to church on time, and then we get out at around noon. So anywhere between 12 and 12.15, and somebody was getting baptized yesterday after the service, so it lasted a little longer than normal. Um, and so, and then as soon as I got in the car, um, Maya and I were watching you. Sun Road is here, welcome in. Hello, wonderful friends. <laughs> Sun Road, how are you doing? Welcome in. We, um, Laura Laura did, uh, redemption. I need to find that catnip for you. I will find it and I'm determined. You love the sweatshirt? Yeah, I was talking about this yesterday. So I randomly, I never, I randomly wore a Marvel shirt with a DJ Dredge shirt underneath. It was like a tank top thing. I, I've never worn that before on stream before. And it was like, it's so funny. I typically wear the same um, random stuff. I don't go shopping um, much. But uh, so it's like anybody else like that before they get on stream, it's like, what am I going to wear today? And I can't remember if I wore that shirt last week. See, Zero doesn't care. He'll take the same shirt and wear it five days in a row. But I'm <laughs> at most, I'll do two days in a row. At most. Uh 
Are there sponsors yet? But oh, Bucky's, Bucky's, contact me. I promote your stuff all the time. And y'all are awesome. I got a ton of Bucky stuff. I got cups. I got clothes. I got food from y'all. I got beaver nuggets. I love Bucky's. If you haven't been there, you're missing out. Bucky's, call me. <laughs> uh, yes. And that emote was actually inspired by Rusty Rhymes and Chef Steve. I need to message Chef Steve because he wasn't at church yesterday and that worried me. He's always at church. You know what? I'm doing that live on stream. I'm texting him while Chef Steve, let's, Chef Steve, I'm messaging you. Um, let's see. I just want to make sure he's okay. He never misses church. But that man works ridiculous hours, and he needs... I wish they would give him um, different hours at his work because he has exhausting hours. I don't know how he does it, and he streams on top of that. All right. We missed you at church yesterday. Oh. All right. Done and done. All right, I text him. Hopefully he's okay. All right, there we go. You love that guy. He's a great human. Oh, should I call him live on stream? Well, he may be working today. Um, his hours are absolutely terrible. Like some are like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. or four in the morning. I. I don't know if he's streaming. I can't remember the schedule. 4 a.m. to, um, what else? 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. I, I can't remember his exact schedule, but it sucks. And I feel so bad for him because I wish they would give him a better schedule. I wish, I wish. Yeah, yeah, I bet he is working. Mighty man! Alexa, play the Mighty Mouse song. This is for you. We've been playing My House Mighty lately, Mouse so we're doing Mighty Mouse fresh today. On Amazon we're doing Music. it for you, Mighty Mouse. Sun Road, it's 5.30 p.m. now. I wish that it was like during the day until 5.30 p.m. Like 8.30 to 5.30. I wish that was a schedule so we can be sane. Mighty Mouse is on the way. This is for you, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse will join. We're still continuing with wonton recipes, Mighty Mouse. We're about to do the buffalo chicken mixture. All right. I didn't have time to. Well, let's see if it'll soften up. Let's see if it's softened up enough. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get a bowl. If not, we're gonna have to warm it up. I may have to warm it up just to come. Come on. Oh. <laughs> to soften it up so it's easier to mix. Alright, so we are here we go. That's for you, Mighty Mouse. Let's go. Alexa, stop. Oh my goodness. Here we go. You want to visit Ireland? Heck yeah. Germany. I've always wanted to travel. I'm just, I'm not doing it. Like, well, I'm traveling to Arizona because I have to. Um, uh, coming up, but I, we were talking about traveling out of the country. It's just with my ADD, it is, um, so hard for me to sit still. I would I would be I would be a a terrible passenger if I had to sit for any length of time that's over two hours. <laughs> so my dream is my dream, and I don't know if I'd ever be able to fulfill that dream is to go to Jerusalem. That is just I don't know. Uh I would just love to stand in the promised land i just 
and it's so gorgeous if you haven't seen pictures online it's absolutely breathtaking and so that's definitely that definitely would be a top top drink for me uh, to go there let's see 30 let me start off with 35 seconds all right eight hour flight to hawaii Three kids under the age of 10 <laughs> was hectic. Oh, for sure. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii too. And then, yeah, it's about eight hours. I'm like, that's not a vacation to me. <laughs> that's not a vacation to me. You'd have to knock me out. So not a vacation when you're on an eight hour flight. Yeah, that sounds about stressful. All right, here we go. Let's see if it's softened up good enough. All right, and it did, yay. So guys, I just did about eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna add some sour cream and we're gonna place the chicken back in there and all the rest of the goodies. And if you're just now joining, I let chat pick earlier the type of buffalo wing sauce that you guys wanted to use. Everybody, unanimous decision. Sweet baby rice. So there we go. We need to see of all of Germany. Yes. Oh, I bet that's beautiful too. And I love accents. I absolutely love accents. So, oh, I am today going to add a little bit of ranch seasoning. Some recipes say add ranch seasoning. Some have different variances. Of their seasoning I love a great mixture and I think that's why cracked chicken is one of my favorite recipes is because it's cream cheese and ranch dressing together is just a party in your mouth it's delicious Alexa stop timer all right let me grab this these wontons they are whoop. They definitely are a little toastier than yesterday, but they look fabulous. All right, now you can see what I'm doing. Yes, Miss Flips, Miss Flips. Um, we went to Hawaii because my husband was working in the airport and it was on standby, filled up and blocked out. Wow. Yeah, I would have, yeah, that just sounds like too much stress. Way too much stress. Way too much. You guys ready to see how we are making our buffalo chicken filling? All right, so you got your eight ounces. You can wait till it's at room temperature, um, but all I did was throw it in the microwave for like 45 seconds to soften it up. So now we are gonna add our chicken in there. And we are going to put some sour cream. I'm going to first mix up this cream cheese in here. And we are going to add lots of goodies. Lots of goodness in here. So, buffalo, buffalo chicken. You, uh, what's awesome about it, you can make it as a meal. Or you can also make it as a dip. Buffalo chicken dip is really good as well. So guys, this week I will be streaming on, wait, no, next Saturday, on the, on the 19th. So normally I don't stream on Saturday. On the 19th I will be because on the 20th our church is doing a Cajun cook-off and I'll be making some jambalaya. So. And then we're going to add a little bit of sour cream. Um, free overseeing. Yeah. You know what happened to me um, once? It's just uh, with my Arizona trip, it, they always give you that option if you want to uh, get traveler's insurance. I will say traveler's insurance, I've bought it before. And they did not, they were 
uh, refusing to refund me. And I'm like, what's the point of traveler's insurance? My son was hospitalized. I even sent them medical records and they were still trying to refuse um, the things. So even though, yeah. And it was just a hot mess. So with my Arizona trip, I just, I didn't end up buying the traveler's insurance. If you have and had good luck, good for you, but I've had the worst, worst luck with that. Undamaged Pizza is here. How the heck are you? I hope you're doing awesome. I hope you're doing awesome. All right, so let's add a little bit of our ranch seasoning. Ooh, I gotta turn off the oven, y'all. Yeah, that might wanna do that. Might wanna do that. So Undamaged Pizza is another streamer. He's also one of my mods. He's um, a sweetheart and a half. Huge supporter of this community too. Always showing love to everybody, too. All right. Ooh, this already tastes delicious, y'all. All right. So, we are going to add some of our sweet baby rays. Do, do, do. Undamaged pizza. We're doing good. Oreo is so cute. Oh, Oreo took, took, um, <laughs> Lulu, did somebody take your bed? Did somebody take your bed? Oops, I think I added way too much. Hold on, let me get another spoon to get that out. I was trying to pour while I was looking at Oreo. All right, so let me take this much out for now. I may add it back in, but I don't want to add too much buffalo wing sauce because it is pretty powerful, the Sweet Baby Ray's. Um, that's why I wanted to be like, woo, it's kind of like Tabasco. You, you don't want to like overly do it. So, all right, sweet. Yeah, Southern Texas toast. So what I did this morning, I let chat decide between the Frank's, Frank's hot wing sauce or the Sweet Baby Ray's and 100% of chat voted on Sweet Baby Ray's. So that's why we are doing that. All right, so let me take a little bite to see if I need to add more or not. All right. Mmm. Mmm. So yeah, I'm gonna add, add this back into it. Yeah, I just didn't want to, I may need to add a little bit more than that. Dixie says, looking good. Thank you, dear. Thank you. I was going to do a breakfast dish this morning and this, but with work, I didn't, I didn't have time to do two dishes, so we're just doing this one today. And what's awesome is that it won't, if you want to make this at home, it doesn't take very long. So all I did, guys, was add a block of cream cheese. I added some sour cream. I um, added some of the ranch seasoning and some buffalo wing sauce. And then I'm going to put our cilantro and our chives in there. Take another bite, see if we need to add more. Mmm. Mmm. I still feel like we need a little bit more. Woo! So good. I'm glad y'all picked this one. Okay. So good. So that's that's about it on what we're gonna add for this. Woo! So what's awesome about um, this? It has a nice kick to it. The the sweet baby rice. All right. Here we go. Let's take one more bite. 
I think this will be the perfect amount though. All right, one more bite and then we can add all our other goodness in there. All right, here we go. Mm, perfect for the win. Oh my goodness, for the win. Woo, I should call this wonton week. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're gonna throw some of that in there. Ooh, that's giving it a nice color too. So you can do uh, green onions as well. I didn't have any fresh um, green onions to put in there, but I want it. I've never had it with cilantro before, but I had this. I didn't want the cilantro to go bad. And I love how cilantro tastes, so I'm curious how it's going to taste in a buffalo wing sauce because I've never tried it that way. So, here, and I'm going to add some freeze dried um, chives in there too. Mmm, so good. Love it! What is up? Yeah, Mama Bear, I love you. I love you. How are you doing? How, oh, Southern Texas toast with the, oh, you guys are throwing up the mama bear emus. I love it. I love it. Heck yeah. So let's add a little bit, a little bit of these. How are you doing, dear? So good to see you. I'm doing good. I'm trying to make these um, buffalo, buffalo chicken, Wonton cups before I have to get to working. Um, I have to work after this. So, so we are doing this. I will post all the wonton recipes that I'm making. I'll probably do a dessert one tomorrow with the rest of them. So, there we go. Yes, Kyle's in the house. The hizzy, hizzy, hizzy. The hizzy what hizzy. All right. Mmm. Wow. Woo! That is delicious, y'all. All right. Here we go. These are so good. I highly recommend them. I'm totally going to put this on the recipe section at my website, presentedlove.com. Oh, so good. So good. All right, I'm gonna. All right, so these are our ones. There we go. And all we're gonna do, y'all, these are our little wontons, and we're gonna fill them up. Heck yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I definitely need to have my phone ready to take a picture. All right, let's see here. Let me get it closer, y'all. Let me get it closer so you can see what I'm doing, y'all. All right, I love y'all so much. Thanks for being here and making, always making me feel special. You guys are all, all right. So I'm gonna take a spoon with a, a smaller angle, that way it's easier to put these in here. All right, so we're taking our little, our little wonton cup, and we're gonna dip it in there, like so. And what I'm, I may do, and what do y'all think? It sounded good earlier, um, adding, adding, um, our little crispy, crispy uh, onions. What do y'all think? What do you think about me adding a little bit? Of, so I could try it one one of them with the crispy onions just to see what it tastes tastes like. Hey, how about go big or go home? <laughs> go big or go home. Just saying, you could talk to me. I would be able
able to end earlier so I can send my fam over because he is always sending his fam over. Him and Richard. Ah, welcome in, Cherry Page. I heart you and your family. Richard had sent his fam over yesterday and the only deaf guy is here. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adore Yay! their family. They have yeah, some really big that, hearts. Yeah, go check that, both go, of them go, out. Go, go. I adore them. Welcome on in, Raiders. Thank you for being here. My name is Nikki. I am a home cook here in Texas. We have been on a wonton escapade with um, different types of wonton styles. Today we are making buffalo chicken wonton bites. I'm super excited to see how it tastes. Thanks for the shout outs. You deserve it. And thanks for bringing your fam over. Um, I'm at this, the filling by itself tastes so good already. Um, if you want to follow me for more recipes, you can go to presentedlove.com. And we show a ton of love on that website too. It's not just a recipe website. It exudes a ton of positivity, just like uh, Twitch. This awesome family, and I love y'all tons. Thanks again, the only deaf guy. How was your stream? How was your stream? Let me show you what I'm doing so far, guys, if you're just now joining. So, I'm putting our buffalo chicken filling into our little wonton cups. And I'm probably going to add some crispy, crispy fried onions on top. And so we got a lot of love in there. We got cream cheese, sour cream. We got some cilantro, um, some freeze dried um, chives. We got eyelet. So I do a lot of pulls here. So one of the pulls we did this morning, I asked Chad if they wanted to do uh, Frank's hot sauce or wing sauce or sweet baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce and unanimous buffalo wing sauce. Let's go. And it tastes awesome. Uh, Richard says it. It was named Connor has the half half day Mondays busy day though. Awesome. I completely understand. Today is going to be insane uh, here as well. So I got to work here in a bit. Um, but I'm so glad I get to spend my whole morning with y'all. I'm super stoked about it. And thank you, thank you for that love. And Darth Bakker is here. What? Another awesome food and drink streamer. If you want to see what I'm doing, Dark, look what I'm making. I'm taking, uh, we're doing more of the wonton cups. We'll do a dessert with the leftover ones tomorrow. But that is our buffalo chicken that we're putting in there. And so you guys, I have some cilantro good. I got a lot of seasoning up in there. And I also have some ranch, ranch seasoning, which is one of my favorite seasonings when um, making any dish with cream cheese. But uh, I may do a strawberry cheesecake tomorrow with the leftover um, wontons. I have not decided. But um, Wednesday is my busiest work day, so that's what I'll be off on Wednesday from streaming um, the whole day. So, but I'll be doing morning streams for the rest of the week besides Wednesday. And I don't know what my weekend schedule is. So if you're new to my channel, um, I, I stream during the week and on Sundays and sometimes on Saturdays. So, and I love being part of the Twitch community, a super loving community. Uh, there we go. And it may not look the prettiest, but I promise it's delicious. I <laughs> get into my belly. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm excited about doing this. I'm excited about, um, I need to definitely take a picture of this. So I took a picture of last night's. Uh, if you weren't here yesterday, I did a um, 
miniature Asian salad wonton bites with a ginger wasabi dressing with some uh, Kung Pao cauliflower tempura. And that turned out super delicious. I was luckily able to get some good picks. Normally, I'm not the best picture taker. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I wish I took better pictures, but you know, that's definitely not my expertise. <laughs> I know there's a lot of chefs on Twitch that are just amazing picture takers and I admire them. So, oh, and somebody brought up earlier in stream to take the rest of the, um, you can do a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. And that sounded awesome because I was like, oh, I have some jalapeno pepper jack cheese that would be um, really good with that too. There we go. You're gonna, there would be a great for any game day. Oh, heck yeah, go football. Ruger Wife is here. Oh my goodness, I heart you. You haven't had breakfast yet? Me neither, dear. I literally jumped right on stream. Um, well, not right on stream. I had a lot to do. So I want to try one with crispy onions on top. Just to see. You're back. You're getting busy. I totally get it, dear. Thank you for always um, being here. Mr. Cubs for love for love all right so what sounded good to me let me take a picture pre crispy onions all right sun road my my internet connection is oh i totally get it like Mine gets that way, and I get really frustrated. Um, and sometimes my screen will freeze up if I'm watching a streamer, or sometimes I won't be able to see chat. I'm like, oh. all right. Well, if I can see, I'm telling you, I don't ever get the best pictures, but that's all right. I promise it looks good in person. <laughs> Here we go. And now we're gonna add the crispy onions on one just to see if it's good. All right, and when I mean crispy onions, if you don't, uh, these are really awesome. They're great on salad, burgers. You can even put them on mashed potato. You can put them on anything. And they're really awesome. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit You'll see me later. All oh, sun road. Thank you so much. All right, so let's sprinkle just a little bit on here. It just sounded good, so that's what we're doing. I also do crispy onions. Um, one of my recipes on presentedlove.com. I call it crack chicken on crack. And I also add the the crispy onions on there too. Thanks again for being here. And Richard and the only deaf guy, thanks again for the love. Richard brought his fam over as well um, last night. And I always feel honored when people bring their family over because y'all could raid anybody on Twitch, but you decide to bring your family over and it truly is an honor. It truly is an honor. So thank you so much. Let's see if I can get one. There we go. All right, you ready for me to try them? Because I am excited, y'all. I am excited and I'm hungry. I'm hungry, y'all. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Okay. Oh. All right. Ding, 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 ding. All right, you ready? Right. We got crispy onions on our buffalo chicken. Psh. Yummy to my tummy. Yummy to my tummy, let's try it. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, cheers. 
Cheers to y'all. Okay, hold on. Mmm. I'm telling you, these are good going on the website. Holy moly. Cheers. I'm going to eat a lot of these. Ruger wife, I totally would give you some. That's what um, always happens to me, Ruger wife, all the time. I'll miss breakfast. I'll hurry like heck to get on stream. And then, mm, I'll hurry, hurry, hurry. And then, <laughs> and it never fails. Oh, I think I want to drizzle a little bit more of the barbecue, the wing sauce on there. I wonder if I can do it with a piping bag. Hold on, let's try that. Let me get a little piping bag. I'm gonna make a homemade piping bag. <gasps> Dana's Kitchen! Welcome in! Our sweet Dana's Kitchen is here. We will be streaming together, y'all. We're gonna do a mental health awareness stream. Um, we're both big advocates for mental health, and I am so, so excited to do that with that sweet woman. Um, I'm glad I got to stop by last night. Heck yeah. And um, was it last night? Oh my gosh, my days are running together, y'all. It's its own piping bag? No, it is not. It is way... It, the hole's too big. I would literally... I swear, I know myself... I would end up dumping the whole bottle. So if you're new to my channel, we are big supporters of charities. Um, speaking of which, we're currently doing it for Alzheimer's. Um, unfortunately, my husband's father passed away about a month ago from Alzheimer's. And so in memory of, of his dad, we are currently um, doing Cure Alzheimer's Fund. And so it's a wonderful organization. If you feel led in your heart, you can do explanation point donate and chat. Uh, I am curious how this is gonna look. You can watch me. You ready? All right, let's see if I can do it. All right, let's do one of them just to see. Cause I know if I did the bottle, it would be ridiculous. I would pour it everywhere. All right, see, I know, I know myself, but I wanted, I wanted some more hot wing sauce on mine. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I gotta take a picture of that with the extra wing sauce. I got to. And Dana, I know I have to pick out a day for us to do that. And I'm excited about it, too. It'll have to be either before... It'll most likely be after I get back from Arizona. Um, oops. Hopefully my phone didn't die. Oh, goodness. All right. It looks good, though. All right. So now we are going... I'm going to try it with the... Sweet baby rays drizzled on there. See how it tastes. It tastes good without it. Now we're gonna try it with it. I bet it's gonna be like. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm excited. All right, cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mmm. Woo! Heck yeah. That is so good. I recommend it both ways. 
but drizzling it on top as well. Heck yeah. Oh my word. Hmm. Wow. I'm eating another one, y'all. Oh my. Oh my. Cheers. Holy cow. Hmm. Oh my word. That is something fabulous, y'all. That is something fabulous. Let's do it again. Mary Todd and the Karmic Bob, what are you guys doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm so glad you're here. Two other awesome peeps that I adore. Thank you for being here. Mmm, so good. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. All right. All right. Um, I got to. I got to. Mmm. Here we go. Whoops, I definitely put a lot on that one. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna be filling that later. I'm gonna be filling that later. But it is fire, y'all. It is delicious. I gotta figure out, guys, what I'm doing this week when I'm gonna do my, um, my craft, my craft stream, because there's a baby shower this weekend, and um, I'm gonna make some crafts on stream. I gotta figure out which day that's gonna be. I gotta figure out my work week, though. So, Gray Wolf, hello! What are you doing, dear? I, Gray Wolf, look, another amazing human. Man, there's so much love today in the stream. I appreciate it. You guys rock. All right, cheers. You can watch me make funny faces, but I tell you, it's it's intensely good. And thank you guys for picking out the sweet baby's race. Cheers. All right. We used that for our, if you're just now joining, we made buffalo chicken wontons. <sighs> Super fabulous. All right. Part of it fell out of my mouth. Oh my word. I can't stop eating these. Oh my word. I gotta do the funky chicken. <laughs> I still owe our friend catnip redemption. Oh Laura Laura, I did not forget about you. Um once I find it, I will do it. I don't know where the heck I put it. Um, but if I can't find it this stream, I promise, once I find it, I will keep it in a safe spot. And next time you're on, since she redeemed it, I will do that for you, dear. Oh, Lord, Lord, did I do the treats? I did the treats, right? It's okay, Nikki, how'd you find <laughs> Oh, Lord, Lord, did I do the treats? I thought I did, but my mind is all over the place. Huh. Because I left the treats out. I know I picked up Oreo. I'll still give them treats again. For those who um, are new to my channel. Oh, my God. That is way too good. I'm going to eat another one. <laughs> Oh my word. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do it. If you're new to my channel, we have fur babies here. That's our sweetie pie. One of them. All right. You ready? Are you listening to me? You're first, you're doggy. There you go. Ah! All right. Someone hid the treats. No! Hid the catnip. I don't know. Maybe zero. Maybe zero knows where the catnip is. All right. Oreo. I know Oreo. Come on. All right. We're doing it. We'll put that over 
here and I will find it. I will find it. All right. All right, Alexa, play the funky chicken. Here's Do the Funky Chicken by Rufus Thomas. You ready? On Amazon Rufus. Music. Here we go. Too bad Zero's back is hurting, or I would have him do it with me. If you're new to my channel, we do, uh, apparently my chat likes me dancing and doing silly stuff, so that's what we're doing. This is a different version of the funky chicken. Should we do it? Let it code! Oh my god! I got something I want to show you. I'm gonna do it to this one. I've never done it to this one. Do you still do it the same way? It's so weird doing it to this song. Go show some love to Lunacode as well. She is a sweet human. Lunacode, thank you for being here. I say y'all ready. It's hard for me to do it because all if you're not familiar with the chicken dances. Let me do it. Alexa, play the chicken dance. The chicken dance by the chicken dance on Amazon. Alright, this is this is the real way. Here we go. They usually do these songs at weddings. Oh, there are two different ones? Oh, so maybe I should switch the redemption to say chicken dance then. I thought it was always called the funky chicken. dear. Alexa, stop. All right, we're doing it. Lona Code, how have you been? What? I'm, I'm waiting for Oreo. I'm going to have another one, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all need to try that. Hello. You got to try it. Oh, is that Skinky Kid? No way. Is that our sweet DJ? No, is that you? Is that you? Did you switch your, did you shorten your name? Please tell me it's you. Oh my goodness. That dance came from the United States. It did, they play it at weddings all the time. Oh my goodness. Please go follow our sweet DJ and Lunico. They are amazing people. I just adore them. I missed you. How have you been? I have not seen you in forever. You want to see what we made? How many have I eaten so far? I think I've eaten four so far. So I'm going to eat another one. I may or may not leave one for my husband. We'll see. I uh, no more kids. Just DJ. DJing. I love your DJing. Your stream always puts me in good spirits and I haven't seen you in forever. All right, am I in the, there we go. Here we go, eating another one. Cause I don't know, I haven't put sauce on all of them because I don't know if Zero's tummy can handle extra buffalo wing sauce on there. But I will say, I hope it doesn't hurt my tummy later, but it is so amazing. For real. You gotta eat it. You gotta, gotta. I'm making you hungry and you need to. Oh, lovely seeing you. Lovely seeing you too. And I'll see you soon. Dana's Kitchen, thank you for being here. I wonder if I need to take another picture. You guys are amazing. It is so good to see everyone. I just, I love y'all to the moon and back. And seriously, you need to make these at home. I mean it. They're delicious. Um, I will say one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And I have a lot of favorites. A lot of favorites. All right, here we go. Um, why isn't it doing it? Here, let me see. All right, I'm definitely going to post this for sure. For sure. Oh, 
yes, very soon. I'm so good. glad you're doing good, my DJ friend. I heart you, and I think you're an amazing human, and it's so good to see you. So, so good to see you. All right, I'm trying to figure out who we are going to send some love to, and I know who we're going to do it after I eat one more of these. Um, it's somebody who I have not seen in forever. Oh, I got to feed some treats. I will do that. Yes, I have to get to work. And I am so glad um, you guys are here. I have to do two treats. Two treats. Whoops. Maybe if I get on the right one. Wait, there we go. We got it. Lulu, you got to eat your treat. Here, let me give Lulu a different treat. Let's give Lulu a different treat. Maybe she's not feeling her um, peanut butter treats. Let's see if she'll eat these. Are those better? Oh, she likes those better. She likes those better. Oh my goodness. What have uh, we made? I made, she's eating it. Yay. This is what I made. I took our leftover wontons and I made a buffalo, baked buffalo chicken wonton bites. Whoops! And this one has a sweet baby rays, buffalo wing sauce drizzled on top. And it's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I am telling you, so good. What? Hold on. All right. Oops. Why is that? Oh, man. Why is her name spelled differently? Um, you need to try that. Yes, and it's easy to make, and I will post that on presentedlove.com. Um, if you're not following my new website, feel free to jump over there. It's presentedlove.com, and I have a recipe section. Um, I have a devotional section and just um, a lot of positivity through that stream um, that we have on there, our different charities we support, and all that goodness. Oh, my goodness. Why is she spelling her name differently? Hold on. Hold on. That is so weird. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Okay, sorry. I was figuring out. So one of our sweet, uh, another food uh, drink streamer who I have not seen in forever is on, and I want to go raid her, but she kind of changed her name a little bit. So that's why I was so confused. And I want to go show her the same love that you've shown me. Um, and I appreciate y'all so much. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it right. In. I hope I did not misspell it since it looks a little differently. Okay. Well, did I do it right? Okay. Let's go raid Asia in the kitchen. And she is really, really sweet. I have not seen her in forever. I have to go to work. I have so much I have to do today. But please, please go show her the same love that you've shown me. And thank you all for all the love today. I will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. I'll see you. Chef Fun Boy, thank you for being here. Chef Fun Boy is another streamer. Uh, Chef Fun Boy, we are heading out. I just finished cooking, but I will be back tomorrow. Merry time. Thanks, everybody. I love y'all so much. Let's go show her some love.